Hi, my name is Calton Duckworth, and this video is for the introduction to counseling. Um, for week four about counseling skills, this video is a reflection of three videos that we watched. They were pretty short. The first video was two minutes um, with two males, uh, client and counselor. The second video was four minutes with a female and a female. And the third video was also four minutes with a male counselor and a female client. And my first impressions were that I thought the second and third were better. And I didn't like the first one as much. And I was tr trying to understand why I didn't like the first one as much. Um, and a couple of reasons came into my mind. Uh, I noticed that how much that counselor is speaking, how much the client was speaking, was almost 50-50 in that one. And I felt like that's inappropriate. This is probably, you know, there's probably a better way to describe it, but I feel like and for every one word the counselor says, that should guide the client to speak ten words. So that, but they felt like they were like forty sixty. I just didn't feel like that was a good ratio. Um, but then I, and then also I, you know, there are two males, and I feel like maybe that was some negative thing in myself, some prejudice. I'm not expecting men to be as engaged emotionally in a counseling session, uh, and so that's something I you got to be self aware of uh, for prejudice. But I also noticed, as far as cinematography goes and how they use the camera, that the they didn't really like zoom in like a slow pan on the face. But I noticed in the second video they definitely did on the female counselor in that video, and they did on the client as well. And in the third video they did also. I'm not sure if they zoomed in as much. I he was wearing kind of a nice jacket. Maybe they were trying to include his jacket in it. And the client had like a tie. Maybe they were trying to show the tie as part in his hair. I don't know what the reasoning was there, but I think that kind of infected my impression. Second time I watched them, I found the page in the book, in the textbook, about the skills, and I went and I kind of put a tally beside the skills as I saw them appear. Uh, I saw less skills in the first video. Um, I saw pretty much every skill in the second and the third video, which was awesome. It, was, uh, it under, explains why I liked those a little more. But even with the first video, he was speaking so much because he was reflecting meaning, he was um, paraphrasing, and he was summarizing what the client was telling him. And so his speech was appropriate. And um, it was intentional. It was a skill that he was taught. So maybe there's a better way to do it. Maybe there's not. It was also only a two-minute video. Maybe if we had zoomed out a little more, had four minutes of that conversation, we would have seen things like open questions and encouragers. Um, but I think they were all pretty professional. I think they were all, you know, everything from the setting to what they were wearing to the things they were saying, they're all intentional and professional and hopefully helpful to the client. I know that's probably just, that might not be a real problem. They might have just been acting, but it's still... Yeah, those are the skills you need to help the clients. So I'm looking forward to learning more about these skills because I want to know, you know, I don't want to be like, let's say the first the first guy was um, not acting as effectively as possible. I don't want to be, because he wasn't using the skills that like necessarily the best. I don't want to do that if that's what was happening. I want to know the best way to use like okay maybe an open-ended question and then maybe a maybe a wait until the end for a summary reflect some feeling kind of repeat back what they're saying in the best way possible so i look forward to learning more about